Hello guys and welcome back to the big data tutorial on data fanatics. In last lecture, we wrote a very basic query to find the total number of words in a file. Well, our main aim was to understand the basic structure of MapReduce queries in detail. Also, we saw how to run them on local system as well as Hadoop. In this lecture, let's take it up a notch and let's find the frequency of each word and letter in a file rather than finding the count of all the words. So let's get started with the first query, finding the frequency of each word. Let's get the code from last time because we will be making just minor changes. So just like last time, first we import the library, then we define the class which will contain our mapper and reducer functions. Let's give this class a nice name. So frequency words, since we are going to find the frequency of each word. Now let's talk about mapper. The parameters, they will remain same. The self parameter, there is no key at the moment and the value is the lines. Now let's talk about this for loop. We know that lines.split will collect all the words in a particular line and pass them into a list. And here, this word will select each of these words one by one. So if suppose that there was a line, how are you? Then lines.split will split this line by like this, by each word. And then this word will for first iteration select how, for next iteration it will select r, and then the final iteration, it will select you. So this is what happens in for loop. Now we can use each of these words itself as keys over here. And for that, we just need to replace this word by word like this. Now let's understand this with an example. Suppose that you had a line, a line like how how are you, you are. So this is just an example. The line will not be like this, obviously, but this is just an example to make you understand. So how will the mapper work? Now mapper will over here, it will be like how comma one, how comma one, r comma one, u comma one, And similarly for the last one. So this is what the mapper will do. For each value, it's going to pass one single count. Now over here, let's see what will reducer do. Now reducer will get the key and it will aggregate on the basis of these keys. Let's see how. For example, the key over here is how. For how, it will get the values one comma one. Similarly for R, it will get the values one comma one because there are two R, one over here, one right here and one right here. And similarly for you, there are two values. Now we tell it to sum these values, to sum the count. We are getting these values as count and then we want to sum them. So final value is going to be how comma two. So this is how actually reducer is working over here. So for each of these values, how R and U, the value final value will be two, two, two. So let's run this and let's see if this is actually happening. Let's quickly save it. I'm giving it the same name as I gave the class, MR frequency words dot py. Okay, one more thing before we run it, we need to change the name over here. We want the MR frequency words to run. Okay, let's control plus S to save it and launch the command prompt. Navigate to the folder. And let's type the command. Python MR frequency words.py and we mentioned the name of the file and that's happiness.txt. Let's run it. Okay, here we have the output. 
let's check it out let's first check the happiness okay happiness has come six times and that makes sense because finally this is the essay on happiness also you can see one thing over here that the values they have been arranged in ascending order like first of all the a then b c d e so i when i was explaining map reduce i also told you at that time that the values they get arranged according to their keys and we can see that right over here like they are arranged in ascending order okay so that's all for frequency of words now let's find the frequency of each letter so let's get to it create a new file get the code right from here let's zoom this in okay this is going to remain the same here we can say for the class mr frequency letters okay same mapper we are reading line by line now what is going to change is in this for loop now instead of splitting the line we want to select each letter each element and for that we just need to remove all this and just type lines so for and here we can say we can name this letter so we are saying that in the lines we want to select each letter for we can give give this any name over here i've given it letter for understanding so for letter in lines so what hap what is happening over here is that we are selecting each element from this lines okay and now here instead of passing word we simply pass letter now mapper is complete we don't need to make any changes to reducer since finally we just found to sum all the values of these key so suppose if a gets like 5 count then we just want to sum all those values so let's quickly save this one also okay let's run this one too launching the command prompt navigating to the folder okay let's type the command python mr frequency letters dot py and finally we mention the name of the file and that's happiness dot txt let's run it okay we need to replace this name forgot to replace this let's say this again and run it here we go so now we have got the count letter by letter now we also have some spaces commas dash and full stops well this tells that there are total 21 sentences in our essay so we got capital a four times and so if you if you want we can combine this capital a and small a we just need to type over here in when we are yielding the letter dot to lower so this will convert this letter to the lower case we just need to save it and let's run this again okay here we go now we can see uh, a is 101 before we had capital a4 and small a97 so total is 101 and that's what we got over here so now we have the count for each letter too so that's all for today guys i hope you like this lecture see you in the next video